food is too salty. What? It's too salty. <laughs> I don't understand how you can have the nerve to say that the food is too salty. When I have to spend the whole day in the market trying to make more money for us, for all of us, for you and the children, to make sure hmm, that you and the children eat and dress better. And then I have to come back and cook for all of you. I also get tired. You better man up. What? Yes. The children are no longer young. They're no longer in the kindergarten. The school fees are higher, they need this, they need that. Every day they want new things. And you have this same old job for the past I don't know how many years, and you're almost earning nothing, David. <laughs> yeah, what were you even thinking? When you loaned out money to a stranger, eh? An outsider, that Jessica woman at the trading center claiming she's your favorite cousin. <laughs> I hear apparently you were trying to help her invest in a solar system. How about us? When will you ever learn how to take care of your own family, David? When? Uh -uh. My job, I mean, the, the money to Jessica. My job? I told you I was just trying to help her. Mm -hmm. And she promised that she'll be paying the money by the end of... I told you I'll be talking to the boss again. Again? Same old story. You will talk to the boss again. I will talk to the boss again. But you never do. David, sometimes you really frustrate me. Beck. Mm -mm. You need to learn how to stand up and speak like a man. Remember, you're the head of this family. I got married to you because I thought... And now you stand up to leave. You walk away. Because you can't stand up and say something like a man. That is even why you failed to get that promotion at your workplace. Because you couldn't stand up like a man and speak for yourself. Sometimes you talk like a foolish woman. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> at once you've answered, you've said something. Hmm? Why don't you talk to your boss like that next time so that you can get a promotion? <laughs> all these years, all these years working as a machine operator, and then your supervisor retires, and you're replaced by a fellow man, a man from Kenya, a Kenyan from Kenya, because you couldn't stand up like a man and ask for a promotion. <laughs> All these years riding a bicycle, huh? when the people you started with are driving cars. Yes, Patrick Wamijuka is driving a car. If you don't learn how to speak for yourself, you will die poor. I'm telling you, you will die poor. I really am tired of this life. I really want to live a better life. Ten years down the road, same old life. Because you can't have the courage and stand up and speak like a man as, and ask for what you want. But just always shying away. And now he walks off. <laughs> and now he walks away. <sighs> Useless man. I knew. There is no paraffin. Gendo kebe mukakebe ora baba muli muse into jemwe seeing if you know gula mafta. Atebwe. In fact, you read even with the tadoba even when you are at the university. Yet the neighbors, we shall suffer with cough and suit in our lungs for the rest of our lives. I just want to talk to you, it's urgent. 
Okay, you go to the bar, have a drink, and kusange you come the mango, please. Dao. I guess this is what you wanted to do. Well, 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 that's it. You know, Jessica, this was a very good idea. Hmm? Now that you have solar, you can work any time of the day. Charging lights. This is a blessing. Thank you so much. Hmm? And this suits me so well. So perfect any time of the day after work. Hmm? You can work evening. Hmm. Now, how much is this? Uh, 40,000. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, better get going. See you after three months. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 You look good. Thank you. Mm. So, how is business? Not so bad. Mm. Everything is moving. Yeah, yeah, I can see, I can see. So, you don't take beer? I'm so tired, I just need water now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I, <laughs> I, I, I also want to buy a, a solar system for my house. Oh, mm. that's definitely a good idea. Yeah. And now, uh, the other money that I loaned you, uh, could you be in position to get me something so that I can pay for my first installment at the circle? I can get you 300,000 today. Then wow. I'll be able to give you the rest by end of next month. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's very good. Things are moving just the way I wanted. Mm. Sometimes even better. Mm. I get like 30 people for hair cutting alone. And mm. then braiding women's hair just became easier. Yeah. Before solar, we would have to finish most of them the next day if we didn't finish. Mm. But now we finish most of them. And then there is phone charging and my new fridge there. Oh, I wish yeah. I could have a hair dryer. But it takes too much energy and I can't afford it. Mm. But with what I have, I can't complain. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And I've learned something, David. Mm. It's better to buy the more modern electronics. See, like that fridge there? It's expensive, but it uses power for five minutes mm. and then stops for 20 minutes. It's not like mm. the old types which use power throughout. So when you go out to buy your TV, mm. look out for the new types, the ones called LCD mm. or flat screen. Mm. They use less energy and in the end they are cheaper. Okay, that's good. All in all, solar is cheaper. I don't have to buy candles and kerosene for a fridge like I used to every day. So with the way things are moving, after paying you, it won't take long before my capital is back and then I start getting profits, solar profits. Mm. But something is eating you up, what's wrong? Well, nothing much. It's just that... Uh, she can't stop quarreling. Yeah, you know, she's always quarreling and uh, abusing me. I really feel worthless. Hmm. Tell me about it. I really feel something is going on wrong inside me. You know, 
me when someone quarrels, I get tense. And when I get tense, I hardly talk. My, my tongue turns somehow heavy. And Understand. I can't talk. Like for the other promotion. I was supposed to ask for it, but then somehow I ended up stammering. And I never stumble, except when I'm tense. Mm. My father took to the bottle. But now I'm starting to know why. My mother, your auntie, used to quarrel like a machine gun. And to outsiders, to outsiders she looked like an angel. But to us, to my dad, I wonder how I could end up doing the same mistake. How I could not see. Maybe you should try doing something. What can I do? The problem is, I, she, she will always quarrel. And she, I don't know how I can make her see me different. You can do something, you know? Come on, David. You can do something to show her that you're capable, strong character, ready to achieve. Yeah, and that is why I want to buy the solar system. Oh. Please pass me my bag. Thank you. This should help you to get a loan from the circle. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh. You know, uh, the, the circle had just, they had just informed me that my loan was ready. And no, that is why I always want to come to your place. For your brilliant ideas. You're welcome. Now come, let me show you something. Mm. What I mean by power saving equipment. Oh, yeah, by the way, aren't they expensive? In the short run, but in the long run, mm. it's definitely worth it. Sure. Now you see this fridge, mm. it uses power for 5 minutes and then it can stop for 20 minutes. Mm. Look at the inside. It's wow. so spacious and remember, it saves energy. Mm. So, what better deal can be? Mr. David. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so you're ready here? Yes, sir. Yes, good, sir. Good, Everything good, good, good. is ready to mount. Oh, you do your things very fast. So, how are things? Not bad. Not bad at all, sir. Mm. Solar, solar is a booming business. Good. What's happening, Dad? Oh, the future, my son. Uh, this is Eric, the solar technician. He has come to install solar in our house so that you don't have to read your books or do your homework under a tad of anymore. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, Eric, explain to the young man uh, these things here. What is that? Uh, it's a solar system. It's a solar system. What's uh, that? Uh, well, Eric, explain to the man how it works. You see that uh, cassava plant over there? Yeah. The sun, uh, the leaves collect the sunlight. Together with water, and other materials. It makes food, which is stored in the roots. We eat the roots to get energy to do our daily work. So in the same way, the solar panel taps energy from the sun so that it can be used immediately or it can be stored in the batteries and used later on. And the guy is from Access to Sarah, right? Yeah. So here, 
these are the components. You have the solar panels, which collect the energy from the sun and transforms it into electricity. When anything blocks the solar panel from the sun, electricity will reduce. But when it's quite open and towards the sun, electricity will increase. We also have the battery, which stores the energy that can be used at the times when there is no sunshine. For example, in the night, or when it is cloudy, or when it is rainy. Now, from these panels here, electricity is going to travel through these wires to the charge controller. The charge controller controls the charging and the discharging of the battery so that it is not damaged, like for example, by taking too much of its charge. So it protects it? Yeah, it does, actually. Otherwise, you'd have to buy a new battery every year. Now, if you need 240 volts instead of 12 volts that is stored in the battery, you'd have to buy what we call the inverter. And then there is the load. In this case, we're talking of the bulb. So now, let's begin our installation. This is a take on TV. Hey, we don't have a TV. We don't take a on simu. Biona biona biba bikola. Echi ntu chino chikola nyo. Dagala nyo sciences. See, now everything is done. The installation is already complete. Now every month. Make sure that you check the conditions of the modules, the solar panel up there. Mm. Now, when you find that they are dusty or dirty, you wash them with water or a soft piece of cloth. Mm. Then, please, make sure that as you're washing, you don't step on the glass. At the same time, do not scratch them with metal. Now, every three months, please check the connections. Make sure that they are still tight enough and not rusty. Mm -hmm. Then you also have to make sure that the modules is not in the shed. Or if there are cobwebs or branches or leaves that have fallen on, mm -hmm. remove them because you need enough power. Okay. Yes. Now, I think we go inside because we also have to understand to know what's supposed to be done from within. No motor door. So my friends, mm. now this is the switch to the house. There we are. Oh, wow. Voila. Now, I can see excitement, right? <laughs> now, hey. we continue with our instructions. Now, every evening, mm. check the charge controller to know the state of the charge. Mm. Huh? <laughs> then, you see these lights here? You see the lights? Mm. Now, if it is red, it means that the battery is completely empty. Mm. So what you do is you switch off everything and then you wait until it is full again. Yeah. Okay. Now, when, it's, when it shows yellow, when the lights show yellow, mm. uh, it will mean that there is some little light. So from that little light, you can switch off the TV and then you leave on the lights. The kids can read because the lights can at least can help them in that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when the battery is full, mm. the lights are going to show green. Mm. Hey, you can put on the TV, eh? you can uh, watch lights, you can even charge your phones. Mm. <laughs> now, you have to ensure that you do not use any other appliances other than those that are specified in the system design. Mm -hmm. I think that is clear. I designed your system to use a maximum of four lights for four hours okay. only, not more. Mm. The beauty with the solar, solar electricity is that it can power the whole village. Eh? Mm. But it depends on the size and the cost.
Mm. Now, here you can watch, uh, you, you can use your radios mm. for eight hours. You can even charge uh, the phones. You need to mm. talk. Eh? Yeah. So you tomorrow may need to call me. More mm. business. Mm. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So how did you become a solar technician? <laughs> <laughs> this boy is very curious. Yeah. You see, mm. I had to train for two years as a technician for electricity. Then when I joined Access to Solar, huh, I specialized as a solar technician. Mm. <laughs> hey, this son of yours. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like tomorrow brother, might like be. Son. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hey. hey, I thought it was time for you to go and sleep. Eh? Mugende mweba. Sawa ya kweba. Mangu, mangu. Good night. Good night. So, my dear husband, <laughs> did you pay all the money for the solar? Well, not yet, but I paid uh, 200,000 shillings. Anyway, that is the initial amount you pay. Then the rest you pay in installments until it's all done. Mm. Now is Suvira, in Jazifuna. I'll clear that. That's nice. <laughs> I'm really very sorry about the other night. Forgive me. Please. <laughs> Baker, you should stop quarreling with me and abusing me, most especially in front of the children. I cannot stand this. I cannot stand it. I really, I really didn't know that it really affects you that much. Because every time I would react, you would not say anything. So I thought you didn't even care. That's why I was pushing you. But um, the money that you loaned out to your cousin hmm, for the solar system, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you're doing this for the good of our family. I'm sorry, eh? I try hard. Yes, I might be a quiet man, but I have big plans, big plans for this family. Now, we have a new life with the soul, and this is just the beginning. Okay, shall we go? 